Eight, ground stroke top edge, slice, four minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, sit down, down, that's it. Always down, down, good. Okay, one down the line, one cross. One down the line, one cross. Okay, good. Find the board first. I almost touch your hand. Then you go, that's it. Touch your hand, go ahead. Make it touch your hand, then you go ahead. Yeah, open it more. Open it more in the beginning. Keep the racket behind, that's it. Drop board. Point it with bar racket, then you load. You can go to, actually the board can come to your racket, pass your hand and your the racket doesn't need to be in front. You can keep it behind you. And you know like when you push the boys in school away from you, you know, hit them with the elbow. Yeah, use the elbow. Okay, now harder, go wait longer, harder, good. Harder you want to hit the ball, the more you have to wait. Good. Okay, now use the back muscles, put your shoulder blades together as you do it. Mm. Yeah, like hanging, like feathers. Oh, we did it with your back. Yeah, use your back. Good, just get it down. Put your, no, put your hand in the board first. Don't change that part. Put your hand on the board and then use your back. Very simple. Make it like an inch. Go ahead. Down. Yeah, he has to trust, start trusting that she can hit down and the ball will clear the net. Rather than opening the racket, hit down, and the racket is already open. Good, now down more. There you go. Down more, always hit down. That's it, like your body goes, your hand goes to the bottom of the net. It doesn't track the ball. The hand goes across, across to the bottom of the net. To the bottom and hit down, down. Good. Good. It's really, we are constantly changing in operating weights. Hit more, hit more. Yeah. For operating weights, so she needs to practice and practice to get a confidence. But, but she will eventually, because it's so simple. You point the bar rocket or the hand, you know, back of the hand, and then you just hit it and come across your body. Show me what you are doing now. So you can keep it as far as you want okay, with full buckle. Full back? Yeah, full back. So that you full back. Okay, we're not with an open stand. So remember we did it to uh, move. Don't move, go ahead. Don't move this one. Don't move the other side. There you go. He has to use power. More tossing, more tossing. Good. Okay, let me show you one thing because this is very interesting. In modern tennis, the racket is closed and as it comes forward, it opens a little bit, but the power is in the edge of the racket. The power is no more anymore in the string. You throw the edge or the volley or the slice or the serve, you go with the edge. Yeah, in the forehand too. So some players like Ivan Lendl pointed this towards the back. You know, he closed the racket so much down here. So, okay, so now let's do what you said for like you were doing in the beginning, and then I remind you to do it, and then you got back. So let's see if you can go like this and land with this foot back. Good, good, good. Good. Hit it hard to go for it. Go. Upwards, upwards. Good. So your job in modern tennis is just to clear the net. Perfect. Just to clear the net. Good. See, it has to clear the net because the ball will go down. That's it. Pull backwards. Say pull back. There you go. Good. Lift that board. Your job is just clearing the net. Don't worry about height. Go even higher and, and blast it. More tossing and blast it. Beautiful. There you go. Big tossing. Upwards. Good. There you go. Upward. Okay, stop for a second. Stop for a second. Okay. Notice, and this is a mark of the great players, how they hit the ball below the center. Today, some players are almost framing 
because this keeps the racket close and you have to press so much. The center is wobbly and the top actually opens the racket. Then you have to press the racket more. So go ahead. Let's see if you can see it. How she is below the center. Almost framing. Sometimes you might even frame it. Lift it more, lift it. The more you go up, the more the ball is going to drop. Go up hard, upwards. Good. The more force. Good. Good. Upwards, hard, go. Yeah, clear the net, three feet. Enough fucking, go for it, blast it. Three feet over, see that one foot on that. Three feet over. So your force is really going that way. You know where those lights are like this, or even backwards more, or the stadium thing. Yeah. Blast it up. Upward. With the, yeah, that's it. Use the edge of the racket. Going up. Beautiful windshield wiper. More of it, more. Do more of it instead of less. Use the top edge of the right. So use the edge by coming up. Hard. Good. Beautiful. More tossing, that's all. Yeah, you can go higher and more tossing to get used to it. Okay. Good. Up, up, hard. You're going to bother the other player more because the ball is up here, they catch it, the ball rotates into the racket, they lose precision, so it's very valuable. Now do that, I blast it. Don't be conservative. That, and blast it up. There you go. Blast it up until you get the confidence. The more you hit up, the more the ball comes down. So, lift it. Good, just blast it up. Blast it, blast it, good. Your body will help everything. Pull it backwards also, let's see what happens. That's it, towards the back end. That immediately opens the stunt when you pull towards the back end. You don't need to. Yeah, this is different. You want You don't need to plant your front foot, that's it. Just leave it up in there. Okay, let it rip and open. Good, good, good. Even if it looks like a miss hit, up on that. Harder, harder on the back side. Harder, there you go. You got a tremendous athlete here. Three feet over, not, not like any of that. One second. If you hit one ball too low, don't make two corrections, opening the right hand and hitting up. If the racket flows, it up more. That's all. If you do two corrections, then the ball will fly up. Good. Okay. Very simple. You track the ball with your hand, like the ball is coming around here, and then you put your racket. You're coming this way, you're coming towards the other hand, like this. In the back hand, same thing. You track it, and then you pull it, and you come across like this, and you have a lot more feel. Modern bodies are from open, and then you close it. So the ball is above the center, best place to hit it, and you're putting more pressure. Before, you used to ball it like this. They used to ball it and open this. Today, it's open, and then you close it, and then say, come over, one, two, four, five. Good. One, two, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three. Beautiful. Very clean. See from the hand. A little bit too early. She hit on four, let's say. One, two, three, four, five. Early. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And also, the opening. The bodies are led by the edge of the rocket. You leave with the bottom edge. Bottom edge. It always down. You have a racket is open, it is down. Down, good. Down. Down more, even on the low ball. Down. Okay, you, you kind of, hold on. The ball was here and your hand was below. So you had to kind of go with the ball. How about if this hand is at the same height of the ball? And then you can go down. Find it with your hand first. 
one person for the bar. Yeah, that's it. Your pan, your pan, then you write. That's your pan. Okay, you are. When you go like this, don't show the tip of right up there. Keep, you know, showing, keep showing the strings to that player. Same on the back. So you go across, and you can go as far as you want, but don't turn the tip. Find it with your hands. Go for the truck. There you go. Good. Good. Now back and wall. Let's do the thing more for <coughs> Good. Okay. So this is the interesting thing. Hold on one second. This happens a lot to the 200. They go like this. And they are finding the ball with this. Instead of putting the hand here, they're a little bit afraid of having the ball come near the hand. And so if they can't do this, they can go down. It's almost like you're going this way, rather, you know, and the racket closes a little bit, rather than going and doing with the tip of the racket. They agree. You put your hand right on the ball and hit down. Good. And higher, they go up more to the line of the ball and then down. There you go, perfect. Up, down, good. So you're having a gradient scale of difficulty.
Thank you. 